Hey True Seekers, it's Nathan here, and today we are doing a new strategy series video on the different types of cards that there are, and today we are going to start with power cards. So power cards are the fundamental basis of how you activate your animo. So you will see on your animo cards how they have a cost here that, that shows you what power card you need to pay in order to activate it, and you will mark that with a marker. To show that you have paid that cost. So, anyways, um, here is the uh, power cards, and this is what they do. And then we'll go over the cards that interact with power cards. So, first off, we have faith. Uh, faith here provides one faith power. Hope provides one hope power. Love provides one love power. And Holy Spirit provides one Holy Spirit. Uh, those are pretty much self-explanatory. Your power cards, you mark them to match the cost. Uh, we do have two special powers. First one is prayer. Prayer provides either one faith, one hope, or one love power per turn. So you can use it for faith, hope, or love. Uh, it does not provide all three at one time. You choose which one it provides. Then you have fasting. Fasting provides one Holy Spirit or two universal. Um, so it either provides the one Holy Spirit, or you can use it to provide two universal. And you'll see that there are some animals that have a two universal cost on them. And so you'll see here that this has two universal, so rather than paying two different cards, you'll pay one fasting for it. That's how that works. Um, universal power does, does not count at can be used to pay for every power, but does not count as every power. It's kind of like a colorless power. All right. And so that is what we have to settle on the power cards themselves. And now moving on to cards that interact with power cards. All right. First off for faith, we have Armorino level one. Armorino level 1 has the ability, it says, once per turn, as long as this card's in your small group, you may place one faith power card from your discard pile into your power pool. Next, we have Lumni level 3. Lumni level 3 has an action that says you may select up to three standard power cards um, from your discard pile and place them directly into your power pool. And lastly, for faith, we have Frankincense. Frankincense says if the animal to whom this card is attached has any uh, faith cost that you have to discard for, um, they may be converted to a faith cost instead. So faith has this special um, unique cost that says that you have to discard that power card. Frankincense says that the animal this is equipped to doesn't have to do that. All right. So that's all the cards that interact with faith power cards. Uh, next one is Hope. So this is Oinkum. Oinkum says search your deck for up to two, has an action that says search your deck for up to two Hope powers, place them directly into your power pool, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Quillo level two has an action that says search your deck for any one story card and one Hope power card. Reveal them, place them in your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Then we get Swimmer. If you're running Hope and you're not running Swimmer, you're missing out. As an action, he also cost only one for this action. It says search your deck for one standard power card and place it directly in your power pool. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Then we have Aurora. Aurora um, has this new type of ability which says if this card's in your small group, it provides one hope power card during your scoring phase. This card may not be activated in the turn this ability is used. So this ability you can use at any time, and it is extremely effective um, and able to kind of replace a power card if you don't have enough. Next up, we have the Breastplate of Righteousness. Breastplate of Righteousness says every hope cost associated with the animal to whom this card is attached now becomes a universal cost. Um, any faith, uh, love, or Holy Spirit cost now becomes hope cost. So hope becomes universal, anything else becomes hope except for universal costs. <laughs> um, next, we have gold. 
Gold says the animal to whom this card is attached, if it has any um, hope cost that shuffles it back, you may convert it to a regular hope cost instead. So hope animal typically have a cost that requires you to shuffle back the power card. But this says that the animal this card is attached to can ignore that and just it becomes a regular hope instead. All right. Moving on to love. First off, we got Nebe. Nebe has the action says you may search your deck for a standard power and place it directly in your power pool. If you do, choose one opponent to do the same. So Nebe isn't the greatest, but is a level one, so you don't have to grow it like everything else mostly does. Um, and basically, you get a you get a standard power, but then your opponent also. But this is the cost of having neighborly love. Then we have Flamingo level two. Flamingo is part of the Flamingo line, which kind of works with everything, but this Flamingo specifically works with power cards. Uh, Flamingo level 2 says, when this card is played from your hand to grow Flamingo level 1, you may search your deck for one love power and add it to your power pool. Uh, this is extremely beneficial um, because it just allows you to get that power card as soon as you grow. And as an ability rather than action, you just instantly get it. Next up, we have Quilla level 2. Quilla level 2 has the action says, search your deck for either a one special power card or two standard power cards and add them to your power pool. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So this action is just pay one and then you get either two standards or one um, special. This is one of the cards that is very rare because it does interact with special power cards. This is Treshell. Treshell says if this card's in your small group, it provides two love powers during your scoring phase. This card may not be activated in the turn this ability is used. So this one can basically be two love, which is pretty good. And if you combine that with like um, the rest of the righteousness, you can activate, say, like Professor. And Professor also requires you to shuffle power cards back. So just to explain this little tidbit, um, if you choose this card to cover both hope costs, you will only shuffle this one card back and then the cost will be considered fulfilled. And then, top it off, we have a Universal Animo, which is Universal Cordial. So Cordial has the ability, as long as this card's in your small group, all Faith, Hope, Love, and Holy Spirit costs on your other Animo become Universal costs. Um, this is extremely powerful. The reason why I have this paired up with the love is because Cordial grows from Cordial level 1 and level 2, which are both love animo. Um, now, this ability is pretty strong because it makes all your costs universal, so you can just pay whatever you need for them. Also, this means that, say you have like a double faith cost, you can use one fasting to pay for it, which is pretty effective. Okay. Moving on to our Holy Spirit animal. First off, we got Raspberry. Raspberry says, reel the top three cards of your deck and you may place any power cards you find there directly into your power pool. Shuffle the rest back into your deck. But the fruit of the spirit, so anyways, um, so it has this action that says you reveal the top three cards and then you place any power cards there you find there directly in your power pool. He costs three though, which is kind of expensive. In a Holy Spirit deck, you're probably running fasting, so he could potentially just cost two power cards. Um, but still, at the same time, um, his action, I personally don't like it unless you have the ability to stack your deck with something like Percy. Next up, we have Manti. Manti has the action. Search your deck for any power card and place it directly in your power pool. Shuffle your deck afterwards. This is another card that, so both these um, interact with special power cards. Okay. This special, this one allows you to choose a special power. This one you have a chance of having a special power. Uh, next up, we have Hybrid Level 2. Hybrid Level 2 has an ability that says, when this card is played from your hand to grow Hybrid Level 1, you may search your deck for one standard power card and place it into your power pool. This is um, extremely good um, because it's an ability that instantly gets you the standard power card that you need. Okay? Next up, we have Prayer Glen. Prayer Gwen has the ability that says, if this card's in your small group, it provides one faith, 
hope, or love power during the scoring phase. This card may not be activated in the turn that this ability is used. This is another card that can be treated as a power card. So Prairie Gwen is pretty good. Uh, continuing with this, we have a story card. The Indwelling. So Indwelling says search your deck for up to two Holy Spirit power cards and place them in your hand. Um, I personally do not like Indwelling because although it grabs you two power cards, I much rather like grab one and something else that I can use that turn, such as the Holy Spirit Animo, because having just the whole the Holy Spirit power means that you're going to play one, and then you're just going to have one sit in your hand, or you're going to discard it just so you can draw cards. Um, and otherwise, you do have one for next turn, so it's not terrible. I personally don't like it, but you guys might. Um, and then next up we have Mur. Uh, Mur says. When this card is attached to an Animo, you may reduce its power by one Holy Spirit. So you can remove the Holy Spirit cost off of your Animo, which is pretty effective because like you attach it to Raspberry. Raspberry now costs two Universal, which means you can pay one Fastening for it. Or you can attach it to Manti and, or Hybrid, and now they only cost one to activate. It's pretty good because you can use this on any Animo, and I've used it on Nico to have a fantastic play that only cost me two power to do. Okay. Now moving on to our universal animo. We have Floraline. Okay. Floraline could have been grouped in with the Holy Spirit because it does grow from Floraline level one. But there's also a universal Floraline level one. Uh, Floraline level two has an ability that says as long as this card's in your small group, there's no limit to the number of power cards you may play from your hand into your power pool. Um, this ability is really strong. It um, basically reminds me of like Blastoise from the very first Pokemon set. You just play all the power cards. You have a handful of power cards. All the power cards are going down. You don't need to play any more power cards the rest of the game. A floor line level 2 is very good. Alright, and so moving on from floor line level 2, we are going to start covering our story cards. First story card is Copper Coins. Copper Coins says you get to look at the top 7 cards of your deck. You may place up to two power cards you find there directly in your power pool. Shuffle your deck afterwards. So this is really good because it can also grab special power cards such as prayer and fasting and it empowers you to look at the top seven. So if you run a lot of power cards like I do in my May deck, it gives you a great advantage of finding power cards and you have the potential of playing two power cards um, instead of just one. Next up is Slumber Tumbler as a story card. Slumber Tumbler says select one standard power card and place this card on top of it. You may not use that power card this turn. On your following turn, that power may be used twice. Discard this card afterwards. Um, this card's not bad. It's not. It makes a standard into a double. And that's pretty good. And I personally do not like it because I much rather my story cards get me more value that have lasting abilities rather than just just that one turn um, moving on to our equipment um we have shoes of the gospel once during your turn as long as this card is attached to one animal in your small group you may look at the top card of your deck if that card is a power card you may place directly your power card into your power pool otherwise place it on top place it on top of your deck so uh shoes of the gospel um i'm not a big fan of it, it's a once per turn where you can constantly just every turn look at the top card of your deck and place it directly into your power pool if it's a power card. Otherwise, it just stays there. Um, so you know what you're going to draw next turn. I personally don't like this because it doesn't seem like it gives enough value. But it is an option and it is an equipment card. And if you like equipment cards for like your Fuzzworm deck, this is a great card to use once and just discard the draw four cards. Um, this is Broken Jar. Broken Jar says... When this card is attached um, when, to an Animo, this, car, this card increases the activation cost by one power. The Animo to whom this card is attached gains five Virtue Points when activated. Um, so this uh, Broken Jar gets attached to an Animo, uh, it increases its activation cost, which means now you're paying an extra power card, but you're basically getting five Virtue Points in return for that. Um, broken Jar is really good, really powerful. Uh, we do highly recommend it, especially like if you are running a deck that uses Alpha Lux or Universal Animo or cards that reduce the cost. Um, because then you're going to be able to use this. 
and it does give you extra power. And then rounding off, we have our True Seekers, the interactive power cards. Um, first off, we're going to go ahead and cover Hope. All right, so we have our Hope True Seekers. First one is Link. It says after you after your draw phase, um, if you have no power cards in your hand, you may reveal your hand and search your deck for one standard power card. So that basically means you're guaranteed a power card every turn. Either you draw it or you use Link's ability to get it. Next up, we have Levi. He says you may place up to two power cards from your hand into your power pool per turn. So now he has kind of like this floor line level two ability, but he's limiting it to just two. So if you draw two power cards, you can just be like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and place Fasting here and place my uh, my Hope power card. So he's really good. Uh, you can just place, he, he's good. So he interacts with standards, but it's kind of like if you draw it, you get it, which is pretty good as well. Then we have our Faith True Seekers, the interactive power cards. Okay. So, May says, you may draw two cards for each Faith power card you discard from your hand. So once per turn, you can choose um, a number of pa Faith power cards in your hand, and you can discard them. Then you get to draw two cards for each Faith power card you discarded. Uh, she has her risks. Um, if you discard your power card, all your power cards, and you don't have a power card that turn, you better have an Armory in a level 1, so that way you can at least play one. Um, she's pretty good because she turns power cards into draw power. Silas says once per turn you may return one faith power card from your discard pile to your hand. Uh, he's very good because you have one in there, you get it back. And usually what I'll do with Silas is I'll team him up with Armorino so that way I will go ahead and um, discard my power card from my hand, use Armorino, put it back, or I will use Silas to grab it back add to my hand and play it so that's yeah, option and then ezra ezra says during your score phase you may convert any uh faith discard cost on a single animal to a faith cost um this card so he has the ability to um kind of like frankincense but he's just once per turn you just get to activate your half lanch ultra or whatever uh may seal armorino and you don't have to discard your power card um, just for that one animo per turn. So that's pretty good. And to round it off, it's not a card that particularly is specific to power, but is a true seeker that we use as if she does. Uh, Brianna says, before the game begins, separate any three cards from your deck and place them face down beneath this card. Once per turn, you may select one of those cards and place it in your hand. Normally, we place at least one power card underneath the verse. That way, if we are ever in a turn where we don't have a power card and we need one, we can use her ability to just go grab a power card from underneath the verse. So, that covers that. And to finish this video off, um, just a reminder, um, these are power cards. They are what fuel your deck. They give you the ability to activate your Animo. Okay? So... Take into consideration the subjects that we covered here um, and add some of these cards to your deck and see which ones you like best that helps you get your power cards so that way you can activate your animal quicker. Um, with that, in the meantime, True Seekers, keep learning virtues and defeating sinnies.